Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how I use my Zoom H4n digital recorder as an input device. In my case I use it um, for the... Uh, well actually you can use it for input and output as a sound card. I don't really use the output function. Um, I use the input so I can use the built-in mic when I record a video for the web. Right now I am recording with my digital, uh, my digital camcorder. Uh, because I cannot show you how I use the zoom, uh, plug it in and everything while I record in uh, Camtasia because it's gonna it's gonna cut the sound and uh, doesn't work properly. And when I try to record with Camtasia uh, at the same time as recording in in Audacity, as I'm gonna show you later to show you how it works, when I try to play back the track, it crashes my Audacity. So. I don't want to spend all day uh, trying to fix the problem, so I'm just going to wait, going to uh, use my uh, video camera and the L, so it's shaking a little bit, and actually uh, shoot my screen. Okay, I'm going to show you how uh, to make sure that if you're using Camtasia to record your screen capture, that your um, audio is coming from your Zoom. It is quite simple. Mm, Camtasia is probably the simplest one I found to uh, use the zoom as an input device. You just plug it in and once your setup are, are done as I've shown you previously, you just click on audio and you will see the zoom uh, at the top of the choice. You just make sure this is selected and that's the only thing you have to do. Um, other than that, it uh, it just works. If I tap on the mic, you can see the level are rising and dropping. So that's it for Camtasia. Now on to uh, Audacity and SoundForge. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is actually plug your uh, USB cable. Um, I'm going to try to do it with one hand. So plug is on the side you should hear windows making the noise oh not not right now okay it's true okay so the first thing you need to do is uh, in our case it's audio input I don't know why it's IF but it's uh, anyway input output so um, I select it and then you need to change the frequency. In my case I use 48 kilohertz. I use the better frequency because I like to work with a better file and then reduce it if I need to. Make sure you check that one because if it's not the same thing as in your PC it won't work. So remember that mine is 48. So I just connect. So Windows did detect the camera. Now it's at the uh, recorder. Now the recorder is okay. Okay, so by default, um, the zoom is at input two, which won't work because I'm using the mic. So I'm going to switch it to input to the mic input. As you can see, if I tap gently on the mic, okay. So you can see it's working now. So what I'm going to do is. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the zoom around so I can talk into it. Let me check the level. Okay, just gonna switch it. It's more difficult to do it with one hand. Okay, what I'm gonna do is actually film my screen because I cannot record Camtasia at the same time. So. As I've told you, I'm going to try not to shake too much. So the first thing I need to do is uh, start the control panel. And the control panel, I need to select hardware and sound. Where's my mouse? Hardware and sound. And then you select sound. That's going to pop a little window. Come on. 
Okay. Now you can see as my uh, usually you're going to end up on the first tab. You can see the Zoom H series audio is ready. Um, by default, when you switch it on for the first time, it's going to be the default. Well, in my in my case, in my computer, uh, my HP laptop, it might be different than yours anyway. I want to keep the uh, regular sound card output because I don't want to plug my uh, sound system because I have a, I have a external speaker and I don't want to uh, plug them into the Zoom every time I plug it in just for the mic, so I leave it there. You switch to the recording tab and at the bottom, in my case, I can see uh, your image might be different, but it's Zoom recording mixer and if I tap again on the mic you can see um, that it's working if I, I'm gonna double click on it and you will see in the I'm just gonna check the level to make sure that it's, it's at maximum the two, the two channel and the most important uh, setting is that one remember I told you about the uh, frequency well, it needs to be set at the same um, the same audio frequency as you did use. Oh, come on, camera, focus. Okay. So it's the same frequency as you used uh, in the zoom when you uh, before you connect it. So that's very important. If you don't do that, it won't work. So in my case, I can. You would click uh, apply if you change anything. In my case, I didn't, so I'm gonna just gonna click cancel. And again, you see it's working. So cancel. I don't need this uh, window. This control panel. What I'm gonna do is start. Audacity, bear with me for a second. While I search Audacity. Okay. Here is Mr. Audacity. First thing you do is you go into the edit and then preference at the bottom. You click on the audio aisle. Uh, the cool thing with Audacity compared to SoundForge is that you can have a different uh, playback and recording uh, setting. In my case, I'm going to leave the device, the playback device. Uh, okay, I can't zoom that much. I'm going to leave the Microsoft uh, regular output. And for the recording, those are the choices I have with my laptop. I have integrated microphone, blah, blah, blah. I want to select the zoom and that the stereo to two channels and that's about it so I click OK in my case it was fine so I just click cancel so I'm gonna start a recording now blah 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 let's test it out and if I play it back, it's going to play on my speakers. Blah, 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 blah. Let's test it out. Okay, you can see it works perfectly. Now I'm going to show you what it, you need to do in SoundForge. Just waiting for SoundForge to start. Okay, so SoundForge. To make sure it's set up properly, you go into Options and Preference, Audio, and same thing, you select the device. In my case, it's Zoom H Series. A-S-I-O Okay I don't know how you pronounce it but anyway it's the zoom thing 
The only thing is you cannot select a different playback and recording device. So you're stuck with the zoom one. So if you want to record, it's going to play back on the little tiny speaker or you need to plug your external speaker in the headphone jack of the zoom. So it's too bad, but anyway, in my case, oh, um, at the bottom, very important, click on advance and click on configure. Just let me drag the window in front. You click Zoom H series audio and make sure the frequency is the right one. In my case, it's uh, 48K. Oh, hey, come on, you. Okay. For some reason, it doesn't want to switch it back. Let me see if it works. I'm going to try to record. Testing. Yep, it does work. Okay, but I'm recording at 40, 48K 16 bit stereo, so let me. Where's my mouse? Okay. This is a recording. Let's see if it works. Unzoom. So you can see it's a stereo track. I'm going to play the track. This is a recording. Let's see if it works. You see it did play on the tiny crappy speaker on the Zoom. Well, actually it's not crappy, but it's a pretty small, so don't expect big sound out of it. So basically that's it. I mean, it's the same with... Uh, um, if you use, in my case, for my video, yeah, that's me filming myself. Uh, can I cut the reflection? No, not really. Anyway, it's the same thing if you use uh, Sony Vegas for the video, or uh, if you use uh, Cubase or other uh, software, you need to make sure you check into the settings, check your frequency, and everything should work fine. Please leave me a comment below this uh, post. Um, or if you have a question, also leave it in the comment area and I will try to answer and help you out the best that I can. Thank you for listening. I wish you an amazing day. Bye-bye.